Lauren, there is a lot popping up on that radar behind you. Yes, there is. On the west side of town, people are probably thinking, yes, I finally got a break from the rain. That's not the case. On the east side of town, from Parker up through Aurora and then making its way up towards DIA, we have a severe thunderstorm warning in place through 530. This storm has been producing some massive hail right now. There's actually a very large hail core uh, over the airport right now. So delays uh, for sure out at the airport at the moment. E-470 is completely covered in heavy rain or hail, so it's uh, not a great drive home from work in many areas and we are continuing to see really heavy rain near Aurora. It's gotten a little bit better down near Castle Rock, but we had some intense hail there earlier as well. Parker getting hit hard and now moving out of that area a little bit lighter, but we again have this long line of storms uh, from basically Parker all the way up toward DIA right now. So again, E470 is kind of the dividing line of that storm right now, also in Aurora. So it's very loud in this area. A ton of lightning, really intense heavy rain, kind of a torrential downpour out in the eastern plains with that large hail that is mixed in there. A wider look, we have scattered showers down to the south and in parts of the high country as well, southwestern Colorado, getting quite a bit of moisture too. We're kind of sandwiched between two systems right now. There is a dominant blocking ridge of high pressure over uh, parts of northern Canada and the northern United States. We also have an area of low pressure that's off to the west. So in between that is Colorado right now and we're getting funnel or we're funneling moisture from the Gulf of Mexico right into our state. It's kind of a monsoon-esque pattern, but it's not monsoon season. This is just the atmospheric setup right now, but this bridge of high pressure does not want to move. It is sticking with us, and that's part of the reason we have been so rainy lately. And then as this area of low pressure moves uh, to the east a little bit, we see those showers intensify, and we do see a good chance of moisture over the next several days. And I know we've already had good chances of moisture. That just keeps continuing, and there could be some potential flooding again with those heavy pockets of rain. So future cast for tonight, still have a chance of rain around the front range uh, through early tomorrow morning, but then we do see that clear out. Wake up to sunshine and once again it was a really nice start to the day and for most areas it stayed on the sunny side and then we'll continue to see those storm chances ramp up in the late morning early afternoon in the high country and then we'll see chances in Denver in the later afternoon and into the evening before clearing out late on Wednesday. So our burn scar areas that are potentially worried about flooding tomorrow. Cameron Peak is in the elevated area. East Troublesome, Williams Fork and Grizzly Creek are just in the limited area. So again flooding will be a big concern over the next couple of days. 71 in Denver right now, 70 in Boulder, 70s, 80s out east, 70s and 60s in the high country, and then we have 64 from our weather watcher Kathy Davis in southeast Aurora. Tomorrow, 75 in Denver and Boulder. We hit 77 today in Denver, so about the same. 70s, 80s out east, 60s in the high country, and looking at our super seven-day forecast, uh, we do still see a really good chance of rain on Thursday. Friday, a little bit lesser chance, 77 degrees, and then it looks like it could potentially be another soggy weekend for us with temperatures in the mid to low 70s and a pretty good chance of rain. And then we are still looking at wet weather through early next week, but we start to get a little bit warmer by Tuesday with a high of 79. Now, 80 is our normal temperature for this time of year. We may potentially see some of those coming our way by Wednesday and Thursday with lesser chances of rain. However, this is still over a week away, so we'll keep you posted. But fingers crossed that we finally maybe get a little bit of a break from some of the severe weather and the potential for flooding for a couple of days by next week. Appreciate you giving us some hope there, Lauren. Thank you. <laughs> Up next, the stunning.